This tutorial will cover how to create a new specimen record on Morphosource. I have gone ahead and skipped to this step in our upload process in which you are asked to link your media record to the specimen record. You are able to search for your specimen using several fields here available. Let's say I have data for a chimp at the AMNH. I'm going to put in AMNH for the institution code catalog number 51405. I know the specimen has an IDIG bio record, so I should get a result. Let's see. I got no search results, which I know is not the case. So I'm just going to try to look for it another way. I'll erase the catalog number. I know that the institution code is AMNH, so I'll put in genus and species information. I get this long list of results and it doesn't look like my specimen is there right away and so I'm going to use control F in order to type the number and see if this is a result on this list. And there we go, it's the first one. Turns out I needed to add an M dash in front of the catalog number in order to find the correct IDIG bio re record. When searching for your specimen here to see if you can link the IDIG bio record to it and you know that it has a record, play around with the information that you put into these fields. But in this case, less is more because if any sort of information that you have input in the field is incorrect, you're going to get no results. And partial matches are not really good with the site. For example, if I take off the S and I forget to put it there, I'm going to get no results from IDIGBio. As shown here, partial matches are not good for searching for the record on IDIGBio. I'm only getting the results that are already on Morphosource. So let's say that you have exhausted all the ways to try to find your record and it just doesn't exist. In order to create a new specimen record on Morphosource, here's what you have to do. Let's clear this off and click on New Specimen. Now here this next question is asking about the organization for your specimen. You're going to search for it and if you search for your organization and it's not already showing up, you will need to email the Morphosource administrators at morphosource at duke.edu and tell us the information about the organization so that we can get it added to the system. In this case, I'm going to say that my specimen is from Duke. I get these search results and I'll say that my specimen is from our evolutionary anthropology department. I verify the institution information and click continue. Next, I enter that taxonomy of the specimen and so let's say I have a lemur cata. I'm going to click this here since the taxonomy is already verified by GBIF and click continue. These are the available fields that you have to fill out about the information about the specimen. The question about it being vouchered or not, I'm going to say yes because we have the physical specimen in our hands and in our department. I would say no if I was collecting data in the field and I did not take the physical specimen with me. So I'm able to click on the institution codes and the collection code from these drop down menus here. If we have an organization and the drop-down menu does not include your collection code or your institution code, email the Morphosource administrators and we can get those added to the system. Next, I'm going to fill out my catalog number since this is just a test specimen for tutorial purposes. One, two, three works fine. You may be wondering about this occurrence ID field. Please do not enter anything here unless you are positive that it is the official museum assigned occurrence ID. Even though occurrence IDs may sometimes contain the specimen's catalog number as part of its value, it is very important to recognize that occurrence IDs are not the same thing as catalog numbers. You should never enter the catalog number in the occurrence ID field with the idea that that might be close enough. 
we use the occurrence ID field to automatically link user created specimen records with museum authored ones on a periodic basis when museums publish new records on IDIG bio that weren't available at the time of specimen creation. Therefore, if you enter something that is not the official occurrence ID for the specimen you create, it could, by random chance, be the occurrence ID of another unrelated specimen at a different museum and cause the system to incorrectly replace your specimen with a different record. The more information you're able to input, the better. That allows users to know more information about the specimen that they're seeing in the media that you're uploading. I'm going to click continue. Next, this is asking me the device that I use for collection of my media. So this is back to the upload process for the media that you have. The specimen information has already been input, and so when you finish the upload process, the specimen record will also be created. I'm going to continue forward with the upload process of my test media, and I will fast forward to the spot in which you have to search for your specimen, and we will be able to see that with the upload of my media, the specimen record was able to be created. I'll see you then. Now my media has uploaded and here I can see that the specimen record now has a link. If I click on that, it'll take me to the specimen record. Here I am able to edit the record and add more information about this particular specimen. And on this separate tab here, I have gone ahead and moved forward to the uploading workflow step in which it asks you to search for your specimen record. Now, I know that this one exists already on Morphosource since I just made it and I'm able to see the record page here. And so I'm going to search for it now. Catalog number 123, 123, institution code DU, search. And here it is, it's showing up. If I have more media to add for that particular specimen, I'm able to search for the specimen record now, and now I just have to click use in order to move forward with my upload of more media for this specimen. And that's it. That is how you make a new specimen record on Morphosource.